I mean, we're doing little tiny donuts here. Welcome back, friends. Today we are looking at another of the top 10 best logging mods in Farming Simulator 22. And the last one really shocked me. I hadn't played around with it at all. When I finally found it and saw what it did, I was blown away. So we're going to start it off here with the JCB Excavator by Ross N Mods. And you don't need platinum for any of these and they will work on all platforms. So this one is kind of fantastic simply because of the fact that you get basically the platinum excavator without it. And the way we got it over here is going to be on our next mod, which, you know, let's show that one off first. Then I'll really show you what this JCB can do. All right. So this trailer is the Landall 845 AG Hall Hall series. And it's going to expand as far as you need to haul any of the equipment around. A lot of this forestry stuff, since it's so large, it moves pretty slow, but this thing is awesome. It's really long enough to fit anything. You can manage to cram some smaller stuff on top, either the front or the back, if you really try to, really more so the back. And these wings extend in and out. So if you don't need it this big, you can simply get in and close your cover and you've got a normal width trailer. If you need larger, you can start opening your cover and it'll go step by step until you've got it fully extended there where there's pretty much nothing that you are not gonna fit onto this low boy. And the really neat part too is the trailer separates off. If I select the right spot, there we go. Detach there. The trailer separates off there so that it goes completely flat onto the ground which means you can just simply take your excavator or whatever other equipment you're using and you can drive it right on or off through the front with it literally touching the ground. There's no worry about flipping the trailer. There's no issues. So now that we've got that trailer taken care of, let's take a little bit closer look at this JCB. So it's not quite perfectly as easy to use as the Volvo and Platinum. I will admit it's a little bit easier, but once you get the hang of this, I mean, it's it's just simply fantastic. There's so many things that it works with. Any of the mods that say it works with the Volvo excavators and Platinum expansion work just fine with this. So on here, my next top mod is gonna be the grapple saw by P55 logging, PS55 logging. And the really neat thing about this, it's a grapple, it spins around completely, and yes, it's got a saw on there. Now, when I first kind of looked at it, I thought, well, it, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense because you can't delimb the trees, you can't really do a ton with them. All you can do is cut the tree. Or then after you think about it a little bit more, well, you could cut the tree, you could reposition your grapple and cut it into smaller chunks. You'd still have to get it out and delimit. But I'll tell you, the thing I have found that works marvelously, marvelously with this setup is using it actually more like a feller buncher. So we're going to bring this down and, well, you know what? I suppose I can leave it right where it's at, huh? Oh, there we go. There we go. So we're gonna bring it down and we're gonna kind of get it so it's perfectly straight lined up we're gonna go over to a small tree here we're gonna go up to this tree close our grapple around it then we're gonna turn on wheel loader tool and we're gonna fold it and when we fold it it actually sends the saw out or back well out and back to cut so now that we've got one we're gonna come over to this next tree over here and we're gonna get lined up with it we can't quite go all the way because we still have to reopen this grapple. But we're going to come up to it. And then in one motion here, we're going to open the grapple, drive forward, close the grapple. Now we've got both trees in that grapple. We're going to go ahead and unfold again, which is going to cut that tree. And now we've got two of them at once. And let's try and make it for three, huh? Because we've got another small tree right here. And we're going to go ahead and open our grapple. I didn't do that one quite as well this time. Yeah, I messed it up that time. I got two still though. And we're gonna go ahead and cut. And you can just kind of do this 
continuously and get a handful of them if you screw it up like I did here. I mean, right now we're still managing to pull this tree around, so it doesn't matter. If you simply drop them down, you can re-grab them because it works just like any other sort of grapple would. So as a feller buncher, this thing is phenomenal. And this setup works amazingly well. And then you can use this to stack up the logs onto your trailers or whatever else you need to do as well. So we're going to bring these straight over to our next mod here, though. This is the Beaverator 1600 Tub Grinder, which is the absolute largest grinder you're going to find and can process tons of stuff quickly besides the tree devourer. I mean, I love the tree devourer, but it's nowhere near realistic. This isn't super realistic either, but I mean, it's fun as could be. So we're gonna go ahead and turn this engine on and we've got our pipe out already. We'll turn on the wood chipper and it's gonna start grinding up everything that's already in there. We're gonna open up our grapple. We'll drop that one in and tree's gone let's get this one set down real quick come on get off my machine fall down there you go all right so let's dump this guy right into the beaverator there too come on there we go and boop it's gone And now we're going to simply go ahead and unload here. You can certainly throw a trailer right behind it to unload into the trailer. I mean, look at this thing. This is awesome. It can also be set up in a couple different fashions. You can set it up to uh, chip bales and to turn stone into lime. So it's a neat little, little machine here. Well, I wouldn't really say little, but it's a neat machine. Now, with the size of it, and it does drive very slowly, just to show it off real quick because I had a little bit of trouble figuring out to it first. So, if we drive forwards here, we're going to turn that off. This is the second part that comes with it. You do have to buy this separately in the shop. It's under, I believe, dollies. But we're going to drive right up underneath here. And it's kind of weird because this alone makes it look like you're not doing it right. But then if we hop back in... It'll let us attach it, and then you get this nice trailer hitch on the front to just haul it around a lot faster than if you're just driving this thing at six miles an hour. First up here is the Lizard Fuel Safe by North Modding Company. Now, there's a ton of different ways to bring fuel to equipment. Uh, yeah, I'm sure you know that already if you've been playing Farm Sim because it usually gets a little bit tiresome at some times if you have to drive all the way back to the gas station, wherever that may be on your map. But the reason I love this thing is you can pretty much use it any way you want to. I mean, it's got the thing on top if you're running a crane or a skitter arm like this one right here so that we can just back up. And I've probably got too much gas in it right now to really pick it up with this machine without having a front weight on. But just to kind of show it off, we're going to turn this around. And I mean, look at that. You can use it with that excavator. You can pull it around with anything you need to. And unlike some of the other fuel tanks that are available on more of the logging side, not only does it have the ability to pick it up with a crane, but it's also got a three point hitch on it. So if we swing around on it, we can snag it with a three point and just drive it wherever we need to. And it helps act as a weight if you suddenly need a weight. So keep this one in mind. Now, the skitter that we're in right now, this is part of the JCB Forest Pack by HR Forst und Forstgebau. I always have a hard time saying their name. And the really neat thing with this is you get two different options. You get the slightly larger JCB with the skitter arm and a three point on both sides, which is fantastic. But it's also got the smaller one here and the smaller one has crab steering on it. So if you're in really tight spaces, if you're only taking out certain trees and you really want to just cut them down and haul them out, I mean, we're doing little tiny donuts here. And it's still got plenty of power. This is going to be our next one. This is the pole trailer by Gamer Designs. All right. So the reason I like this trailer by Gamer Designs 
even though it's not going to be the absolute longest we can find and it's not going to fit the whole length of those trees it's extendable and it's very easily extendable so if you're working with smaller logs or if you're working with larger logs you can really get it on here quickly now i will say it is still slightly on the longer side i've got some six meter logs cut over there and they don't fit on here so you're probably looking at about eight or nine but it goes quite a ways back and i think i'm not a hundred percent sure but i think that with these logs that we have right here seeing as i've got the heavier side up here if i start picking these up i think we're going to be able to load them onto this trailer uh, if I can get everything maneuvered properly and I want to actually test this out because I have not actually checked to make sure this works so maybe I'm gonna be a little bit disappointed here and I need to turn off the crab lock so that we can rotate that and that's the other nice thing with these skitters is you can set up those cranes to rotate or not rotate we're gonna start picking this up and can I extend this far enough back? Come on, pick you up. Uh, no. So what we're going to do is we are going to back up. And I'm going to drive around the other side of this trailer. If I don't flip this... I should have grabbed the larger skitter or that fuel tank to use as a weight. Oh, that's not going to happen. All right. We're going to scratch using the skitter for this because that's not exactly what it was meant to do. And those logs are just a little bit too large. And we're going to come back and grab our excavator real quick because it will definitely handle those. No problem. All right. So now we've got our JCB excavator over here. We are going to spin that jaw around a little bit and we're going to get this lined up really well here snag both of these logs and make sure not to get them stuck on the trailer and you do have to be a little bit careful with this because we are dealing with a lot of weight with the two of these and see we're even having a little bit of trouble But if we just kind of work them in closer to the machine as we start rising it. Nope. Alright, let's do one at a time. We'll cut the weight in half here. There we go. We've got that. Much easier to handle. As long as I make sure that we don't fling it with like a stick on accident. There we go. So yes, these are going to balance on there or would balance on there if we did them all just fine since all the weight's going towards the cab here. Because we don't have anything strapped down at all and yet it's working just fine. We do have straps on here too. So once it does get loaded, you won't have any sort of problem with them bouncing around. But I mean, look at that. We've got full trees here still sitting on that little pole trailer, even though it's not super long, but it works without a problem. And if we needed to, we could simply shorten this trailer down too. Or you can keep it back at that full length. So I really like this one. You've got plenty of room to load this trailer without getting caught up on other, other arms. And as long as you're working on longer logs, it's perfect. Now, if you're working on smaller logs and you need to load stuff up, Right over here, I've got the answer for you. This is the Log Leveler by Kenny456. And this thing is neat. Now, I've had this one installed for a long time, but I've never really played around with it because I tend to load the way I showed you in the other top 10 mod video, where you've just simply got a concrete bunker set up in order to fill everything up and get it all together. But this thing does work a lot better. So it's configurable in length. It does max out at about seven meters or so. But as you see, these arms are set up on like spring-loaded platforms. 
So when you start loading them, they're actually completely open. And as you start dropping logs in, it just smashes them together and gets them all nicely lined up for you. And it just works. I mean, you do get a little bit of an issue if you start trying to drop stuff in now that it's down. And if I release these, they're just going to kind of land on top like that because we have too much weight in holding it flat. But if you work with a small load at a time, if you load up some log forks on a front loader, dump them in just to get them straight and then load them into a trailer, you're set up perfectly. And even in this instance, if we have, if we just simply grab this log, come on, and we pick it up a little bit, I can come back over and whack the sides if I can get this to work again now. Come on. Sometimes it takes a little bit of tinkering. And now my skitter's grabbing the second log. But you can kind of manage to just whack the sides and get them. All right, let's do this without the log. Let's uh, drop this log in because I really kind of want to show this because I was doing it a handful of times. I was testing out a bunch of different mods to try and show you for this video. And some of them did not work so great so I loaded and unloaded this leveler probably about 15 times and I gotta say the more I messed with it the more I liked it so here we go if we just come down and use the skitter arm itself to bump into the side like that it's gonna just knock our log right in and it evens it out with the rest of them without any sort of issues. All right, so the next one we're gonna take a look at here is Land Clearing by BC Beeler. Now, we've switched out our attachment here on the JCB, as you can see, and this is what we're really gonna be looking at because this thing is pretty neat. So, it is a bucket, it works just like a bucket, and you can use it simply as a bucket if you want to, but we're gonna do a little bit more with it. So, if we come over to this stump here, and we turn on the quick claw function, you can see we kind of just knocked away a little bit of it and we just knocked away more of it. And more so, we are creating a field. Which means if we come over to these bushes too, we can clear out the bushes. We can make an actual field that we're gonna use if you really want to, but that would take forever. And the other really neat thing is if we come over to these full trees over here, We've still got our quick claw turned on. We're going to lower this. I'm going to rotate it just a little bit too for my sanity. There we go. And we are going to knock this tree down. Just like that. You can kind of just cut it right off with the quick claw. Or with the claw of the bucket. So let's grab this one too. Just because we can, right? We're gonna come around, we're gonna lower it a little bit, and come on. Boom, we've knocked down the tree. Now we're gonna turn off our quick claw function. Make sure you turn it off, because if you turn it off and you try to pick up a tree, all you're gonna be doing is cutting it into little itty bitty chunks. And we're gonna come back around, rotate our bucket up a little bit more like that. And we're going to come back down and look at that. Using the thumb on the bucket, you can then pick up your tree as well. Now, the thing is, having full trees like this that aren't delimbed are a little bit annoying. But our last mod here, and certainly not least, is going to be the solution to this. If you're trying to just knock some stuff down really quickly and you really don't like having to cut them up into certain sizes, d them, having to get them all straightened up and loaded onto a logging trailer, because let's be honest, in Farming Simulator, that's really not the easiest thing in the world. Yes, you can put up a sawmill right away and take them to a sawmill, but what if you still kind of want to haul lumber around? I mean, if you enjoy driving, or maybe if you just kind of can't stand the logs being all mismatched on the trailer, especially when on console you don't have auto load. On PC you've got auto load and it's a lot easier to deal with 
and we can't really do that on console unless you have platinum and you're dealing with the containers and then you have to deal with the containers which can kind of be a pain in the butt because you've got to make sure your sizes are correct well i got the solution right here for you so this is wood storage by vanquish 81 and I never really looked at it until recently as I was getting ready to try and do another top 10 video here. I um, started looking at some stuff that I haven't used before that looked interesting and this kind of blew me away. So it's going to work a lot like a sawmill will, right? We're going to bring our log right here and we're going to drop it in the drop zone and sell wood and boom it threw it in now the thing is though it's making palletized logs and to me that is just fantastic because then you can just pick up this pallet and throw it onto a flatbed um, throw it onto a low boy move it around however wherever you need to and it's a neat uniform size and they're fairly stackable I mean, it's kind of like having auto load, but you still do have to load a little bit and it's fairly realistic. It comes in, it gets cut up into the sizes, it gets banded together, and then it produces wood chips for um, everything that doesn't fit onto the pallet. So you're really not breaking realism with this mod. I mean, if you wanna be, you know, role playing that you've got an actual sawmill lumber farm that you're doing, this could very easily be there along with the sawmill because you could have customers that want full logs and these aren't small, but they're not huge. So it's a lot easier to deal with them. And then you just drive them off to wherever your sell point is for it. And it'll still sell just like regular wood. But instead of having it completely separated, you've got it into neat little pallets. So I think this earns my top mod for logging. I hope you guys enjoyed. I really enjoyed prepping this one and doing this one for everybody. And if I find some more, I'll throw another one out. Now, I think I've gone through almost everything I've wanted to. There are definitely a few more little mods here and there I could throw in, but not many. If you guys have any suggestions, if there are any other mods you think I should consider, leave me a comment down below. Thank you all for watching and happy gaming.